Here we are at the top edge of the falls. Again, very rapidly moving falls. This is what would be the American Falls. Hello and welcome to Zephyr Travels. In this video we're highlighting another campground in our series of Campground 411. We are at Four Mile Creek State Park. It's located in Youngstown, New York, which is about 16 miles to Niagara Falls. So naturally this campground becomes a great base camp for visiting Niagara Falls. There's the Robert Moses Parkway, which ends right here at the campground practically. And we'll take you right into Niagara Falls. It's a nice, easy ride in. There's plenty of places to stop and see along the way. But we want to show you a little bit more about this campground. This is a really nice campground. It's pretty good size. There's almost 400 campsites. I don't know exactly what the mix is between campsites with electric and campsites without. My guess is it's at somewhere to 50% to two-thirds electric. Somewhere in there. So there's a lot of electric sites here. They're just electric only or dry camping. There is no sites with water or sewer. Um, and all the electric is 30 amp. But what's really nice about this campground is it's very nice and grassy. You've got, as you can see around me, this site is really very nice. Um, you can see behind me here, uh, very green. Uh, there's not um, your, your parking pad is going to be on the grass for most of the sites. There are a few that may have some gravel, but for the most part, you're parking on the grass, which is fine. Um, we didn't even put our rug out because the grass was so nice that we didn't feel we needed it and we didn't want to kill the grass. You're right on Lake Ontario here. Uh, if you walk this way, down that way, you're, it will take you right to the lake, and there's a nice walking path down to the water and the beach. Now, it isn't your typical beach where you're going to go lay out in the sun or anything. It's a gravel beach. Um, you may be able to take a kayak down there or a paddleboard and put it in the water. They do not recommend swimming because they do not have a lifeguard on hand. So keep that in mind if you're coming here. I don't know if there's areas where you can swim around here or not. And Four Mile Creek is right over here. And sometimes when you're near a creek like that, the discharge from the creek might be bad for algae and such in the lake. So you, you might not be the cleanest at all times. I don't know. Didn't look too bad this time while we were here, but you never know what you're going to run into. We do have a fire pit. And all the sites are back-in sites. There's no pull-through sites. And they want you to back-in. They do not want you to pull your trailer or your, your motorhome or anything in backwards because they want to be able to have everyone connected to the electric properly. But also one of the things that actually was a uh, memo in the uh, uh, office saying that one of the reasons they want you to back in is if for ever any reason they had to evacuate the campground, people could hook up and pull out much easier if you are backed in. So as you can see here, we are backed into the site, which works out fine. There's a lot of trees in the, in the campground, which makes it nice. Um, you can find some of these sites to be very shaded, or ours is a little bit shaded and quite open. It's late fall, or early fall, I should say. So being out in the open like this really isn't an issue. It's not been too hot. I can imagine on a summer day, it could be pretty warm here though. They do offer a shuttle bus taking you to Fort Niagara, which is only a couple of miles from here. So you can jump on the shuttle bus, go explore the fort, and come back to the campground. There's no charge for that. Your parking pass will get you into any of the state parks along this area. So we went to um, Goat Island, which is the American Falls area, or scenic view area, one of the scenic view areas for the American Falls. And we use our parking pass and save the $15 uh, parking fee that you would normally pay to go there. There are a number of other parks along the way, including 
uh, Fort Niagara that you can use your parking pass at. Um, let's show you some video of our little excursion over to Niagara Falls. We're at Niagara Falls. We're on Goat Island, which is probably one of the most common places to come and visit the falls, unless you want to be right downtown Niagara Falls, which is really popular but very hard to find parking spaces. So we're wheeling into Goat Island. We're going to check out the falls and what other stuff we can see. Oh, by the way, you probably noticed a little something about Diane and her mode of transportation. Uh, we'll get into more of that later. One of the uh, sights or things you can see while you're here is the Cave of the Winds. And that's, you know, a paid extra, but it's, I guess it's pretty cool. I don't think we've ever done it. Have you ever done it? Never no. have done it. No? So, something different if you in the air and you want to check it out. <laughs> this way to the American Falls. we got to catch up with Diane. She's ahead of us someplace. There she is. Apparently those wheels get her moving quite quickly. So this is the American Falls and the small falls right here is called the Bridal Falls. And down there is the Maid of the Mist. I think there's one right in the rainbow there. Yeah, you probably can't see it on the camera. No, but now, yeah, now you can see it a little bit. A lot of water. see down there there's the maid of the mist I believe that's the that's the US one I think there are different made of the mist depending on which side of the river you enter there's a Canadian made of the mist and then there's a US made of the mist and you can typically tell by what flag they're flying this one seems to be flying the US flag where one we saw previously was flying the Canadian flag and will dock on the Canadian side now you will get wet right in the middle of the mess, so keep that in mind. Well, that's why everybody has um, rain ponchos on. Yeah. I'm going to take a walk down to the lower viewpoint for the American Falls, Luna Island, and Bridal Falls. One thing to keep in mind that this area isn't accessible for people with mobility issues. So I'm coming down here by myself and Diane's waiting up above. But it just does get you right close to the falls. You're actually in mist territory where you're going to feel the water from the falls as a mist. So here's a view of the State Park. You can see here's the American Falls. Here's Luna Island, which we're about to cross over to. We're right about here. This is Bridal Falls. And if you come around this way, you can see the Horseshoe Falls, which is also known as the Canadian Falls. And this is all considered Goat Island. This is where we parked. And then you, there's also areas here on, on the mainland where there's the observation tower, where you can get the Maid of Mist, Prospect Point, and you can actually walk along the edge of the river here.
you can see the water is moving pretty rapidly. You don't want to get in this water because you'll be over that falls before you know it. Here we are at the top edge of the falls. Again, very rapidly moving falls. This is what would be the American Falls. What do you think? Very nice. I can see a little bit of the falls. Right. I can see more that way. Well, the best view of the falls is from the other side. Well, oh yeah, this one, yeah. Both of them, really. Yeah, that's true. Because you're looking from across, so if you were to come here, you want to definitely bring your passport so that you can cross over to Canada and check the falls off from there. Well, yep. We yeah. probably, couldn't we do it with our enhanced license? Possibly. I thought that took place of your passport. At least for U.S. and Canada, yeah. Yeah. Not for other countries, but I think for right. U.S. and Canada it does. There is an accessible route to Terrapin uh, Point. Um, so Diane probably could come down here, but with the slope and such, it probably would be a little difficult. So she decided to stay up top, and I'm going to take the walk down.
did you think of this campground, Diane? I thought it was very nice. We uh, took a ride around earlier today, and it's huge. And, I'll, I mean, there's lots of trees. It's really a lot of shade and uh, very well kept up. It's clean. Um, the sites are quite spacious. Yeah, most of the sites are pretty good. Yeah. Um, I like the fact that, you know, they're grass, but the grass is well maintained. It's mowed. Mm -hmm. Where a lot of times you get into these parks and they may mow it, but it's, you know, still pretty long. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's the first time we've ever been here. Um, for us, it was, I don't know how far from home. I don't know, I didn't really pay attention, but it's got to be 60, 70 miles. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't too long of a drive. Right. And the weather has been good. It, it was supposed to rain a little bit today, but uh, we kind of lucked out, and now it's bright sunshine and pretty mild. So, yeah. I mean, it's the, you know, being after Labor Day, the um, campground is not full. But, but pretty cool. I mean... Yeah, there's it, a good number of people here. Yeah, if you... Uh, kind of exclude the no hookup sites and yeah. just look at the hookup sites most of the hookup sites are full yeah and we've been here since thursday and both thursday and yesterday people were steadily coming in yeah so yeah, yeah. it's very nice I'm, I'm sure we'll come back here again yeah i think so hmm. yeah maybe sometime when you have two legs yes <laughs> I, I mean the size of the park it's a great place to bring your bikes or scooters or whatever your mode of you know uh, recreation is and uh, yeah a lot of area to ride around in there's a a little store with ice cream and you're close to Lake Ontario so you could bring your paddle boards or your kayaks um, I did notice there's some hiking trails yeah so it is it's very nice and you're not far from Niagara Falls yeah. So, you know, you can take a day trip over to Niagara Falls and uh, explore that area. Yep. Yeah, or Canada. That's true. You There's, can go over to Canada. Yeah, bring your passport. There's multiple bridges uh, across the Niagara River to Canada, depending if you want to go into uh, Niagara Falls, Canada, or anywhere else in Canada. Very mm -hmm. easy to get to. Right. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very nice park. I agree. So we would highly recommend you, um, staying here. Yes. We definitely will come back. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess uh, until the next time, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, and we would greatly appreciate it, subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Yeah. And so until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road. See you Take down care. the road. Bye. Bye.